Hello everybody, my name is Olga with GEM Accounting and Tax. GEM Accounting and Tax is a CPA firm that works uh, very closely with organizations in early childhood education. So today I would like to talk about tax extensions. Of course, the, the tax season kicked off about a week and a half ago. And uh, everybody, you know, is anxious about their their uh, refunds or whether or not they're going to owe. So today I want to talk about extensions and how it can impact uh, your taxes. Um, I typically recommend that taxpayers file an extension. And this is just not an issue of procrastination. An extension to me, it's like an insurance an insurance cover over whether or not you file your taxes on time. You know, life happens. You might have an emergency around the tax, uh, the tax deadline time. And so just having to make sure that you have a, a, ta um, uh, um, a tax extension filed uh, can cover you in case at the, on the day, on the due date for your taxes, you're not able to do it. It gives you an additional six months. Um, to file your taxes. So if you're filing an individual tax return, that's usually on the 1040 uh, form, uh, you get an additional six months. So instead of filing on the 14th or the 15th of April, you get to file on the 15th, that's six months after 15th of October. Um, similarly, if you're filing for your pass-through entities, so that would be your partnership tax return or your S-Corp tax return, filing an extension um, from the due date. So due date is typically 15th of March. So you give yourself an additional six months. So that's September 15th to file this extension. Again, it's just an insurance, just in case you have an emergency um, and um, you, you just want to cover yourself just in case you're not able to meet that particular deadline. So that's one important reason why I think filing an extension might be useful for you. With my firm, I typically reach to all my existing clients and I say, hey, uh, it's tax season. Do you want me to file an, an extension for you just in case? Just because I filed an extension doesn't mean we will not file it on time. If I have all the information I need, answers, are, uh, questions are answered, I will definitely file it before the due date. But this is just in case we miss that deadline, we give each other just a little bit of more time to do a thorough tax return. The second reason why I would recommend um, that you file your tax return, you might be uh, file an extension, you might be waiting on additional information. So maybe it's a 1099, some specific uh, tax documents that you haven't received within the due deadline date. So you just want to give yourself a little bit of leeway to be able to get this information, uh, or maybe you're correcting certain tax forms that the original forms are not correct. You just want to make sure you get the correct information, accurate information you want to file a, an extension just to give you a little bit more time um, to file um, your taxes. Another reason why I think it's important to file an extension um, would be uh, for those tax filers who typically um, you know, get refunds, okay? So if you're typically getting a refund, you might have to forego this refund after three years um, that you haven't filed. I'll, I'll explain this in by, by way of an example. So I come across every once in a while taxpayers that just haven't gotten to filing their taxes for years, right? And in certain years, these taxpayers might have refunds due to them. But here is the kicker, okay? If you're three years late, sorry, you have to forego that refund. For example, in 2020, you had to have filed your individual 1040 taxes by April 15, 2021, okay? If you missed the April 15th deadline, if you were not able to file this tax return, maybe you, you extended your tax return to October 15, 2021. Okay, so for some reason, if something happened to you and you were simply not able to file this tax return, and again, this is a situation where you are due a refund. If you were not able to file this tax return and then you come to me, hey, Olga, I missed the 2020 tax return. Can you please help me file? And I'm like, yeah. And, you know, we'll go through the numbers. Hopefully you get a refund. Yay, that's a good thing. However, if you come to me in May, 
right? Asking me to file your 2020 and you didn't file the extension, you're gonna have to forego this refund. But if we had filed an extension for you, you would still be eligible to receive it. So this is for one of those unique situations where some taxpayers for one reason or another, you know, 2020 was the year of COVID. We still had COVID in 2021, things happened. You know, our lives changed quite significantly due to COVID. And so for some reason, some people may have missed filing their taxes and that is okay. I mean, it's not okay, but you know, sometimes these things happen, but you might be foregoing a refund if you didn't file that extension. So as a matter of practice, what I typically do with my clients is that I reach out to them and ask them if they would like me to file a, an extension for them. Doesn't mean that we're not gonna meet the deadline. The intention is to meet the deadline. But if things happen, if circumstances are such that you're not able to file your taxes within the deadline date, we still have an additional six months to file your tax return. I hope this was a useful hint. And again, I want to thank you for listening to me. This is Olga with Gem Accounting and Tax. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.